Grade 9 Tissues Part 1 NCERT Textbook Questions and Answers Page number 69 Question number 1 What is a tissue? Answer the group of cells combined together to perform a common function is called a tissue. Example, blood muscle. Page number 69. Question number 2. What is the utility of tissues in multicellular organisms? Answer. In multicellular organisms, tissues are specialized to carry out a particular function at a definite place in the body. This is known as division of labor. Because of this division of labor that multicellular organisms are able to perform all functions efficiently. Page number 74. Question number 1. Name types of simple tissues. Answer. The three main types of simple tissues are parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Page number 74. Question number 2. Where is epical meristem? found. Answer. Epical meristem is present at the growing tips of stems and roots. Page number 74. Question number 3. Which tissue makes up the husk of coconut? Answer. The husk of a coconut is made up of sclerenchyma tissue. Page number 74. Question number 4. What are the constituents of phloem? Answer. The constituents of phloem are sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. Page number 78. Question number 1. Name the tissue responsible for movement in our body. Answer. The muscular tissue is responsible for movement in our body. Page number 78. Question number 2. What does a neuron look like? Answer. A neuron consists of a cell body with a nucleus and cytoplasm from which long thin hair like parts arise. Each neuron has a single long part called the axon and many short branch branched parts called dendrites. An individual nerve cell is called neuron. Page number 78. Question number 3. Give three features of cardiac muscles. Answer. Three features of cardiac muscles are 1. Cardiac muscles are involuntary muscles. 2. The cells of cardiac muscles are cylindrical, branched and uninucleate. 3. They control the contraction and relaxation of the heart. Page 
page number 78 question number 4 what are the functions of areolar tissue answer functions of the areolar tissue are as follows 1 areolar tissue fills the space inside the organs and supports internal organs 2 it helps in the repair of tissues page number 79 question number 1 define the term tissue answer the group of cells combined together to perform a common function is called a tissue example blood muscle page number 79 question number 2 how many types of elements together make up the xylem tissue name them answer four types of elements together make up the xylem tissue they are tracheids vessels xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers page number 79 question number 3 How are simple tissues different from complex tissues in plants? Answer: Simple tissues are made up of one type of cell. Complex complex tissues are made up of more than one type of cell. Cells are similar in structure and perform a common function in simple tissues. Example: parenchyma. colon came different types of cells coordinate to perform a common function in complex tissues example xylem phloem simple tissues are responsible for storage and mechanical support complex tissues are responsible for transportation page number 79 question number 4 differentiate between parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma on the basis of their cell wall answer in parenchyma the cell wall is thin and is made up of cellulose in colenchyma cells are irregularly thickened at the corners in sclerenchyma the cell wall is thick due to the deposition of lignin page number 79 question number 5 what are the functions of the stomata answer the functions of stomata are one they help in exchange of gases with the atmosphere two they help in transpiration of water page number 79 question number 6 dramatically sorry diagrammatically show the differences between the three types of muscle fibers answer diagrammatic representation of straightened muscle fiber b smooth muscle fiber c cardiac muscle fibers see the diagrams page number 79 question number 7 what is the specific function of the cardiac muscle answer the specific function of the cardiac muscle is to control the contraction and relaxation of the heart
page number 79 question number 8 differentiate between straighted and straighted and cardiac muscles on the basis of their structure and site location in the body type structure straighted muscle cells are long cylindrical unbranched and multinucleate unstraighted muscle cells are long with a pointed end spindle shape and uninucleate cardiac muscle cells are cylindrical branched and uninucleate site location straightened muscles are present in hands legs and other skeletal muscles unstraightened muscles are present in walls of stomach intestine ureter and bronchi cardiac muscles are present only in heart page number 79 question number 9 draw a labeled diagram of a neuron see the picture and understand the positions of nucleus, dendrite, axon, nerve ending and cell body in the diagram. Page number 79, question number 10 name the following a tissues that forms the inner lining of our mouth answer squamous epithelium b tissue that connects muscle to bone in humans answer tendon c tissue that transports food in plants answer phloem Page number 79, question number 10, name the following. D. Tissue that stores fat in our body. Answer. Adipose tissue. E. Connective tissue with a fluid matrix. Answer. Blood. F. Tissue present in the brain. Answer. Nervous tissue. Page number 79, question number 11. Identify the type of tissue in the following. Skin, bark of tree, bone, lining of kidney tubule, vascular bundle. Answer. Skin, squamous epithelium, the bark of a tree, supportative tissue, bone connective tissue the lining of kidney tubule is cuboidal epithelium vascular bundle conductive tissue that is xylem and phloem page number 79 question number 12 Name the regions in which parenchyma tissue is present. Answer. Parenchyma tissue is present in roots, stem and leaves. Page number 79, question number 13. What is the role of epidermis in plants? Answer. Role of epidermis in plants are as follows. 1. It protects all the parts of the plant. 2. It protects the plant against loss of water, mechanical injury and invasion by parasitic fungi. 3. It allows 
exchange of gases through the stomata. 4. Epidermal cells of the roots help in water absorption. Page number 79, question number 14. How does the cork act as a protective tissue? Answer. Cork is made up of several layers of epidermal cells. These cells are dead and compactly arranged without intercellular spaces. They also possess a chemical called suberin in their walls, which makes cork impermeable to water and gases. Page number 79, question number 15. Complete the table. Permanent tissue is divided into two types, simple and complex. Simple tissue and complex tissue. Simple tissue is further divided into parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Complex or compound tissue is again divided into two xylem and phloem.